Hey everyone. So um, we're up to chapter one, section eight, which is about indexed sets. And this is where we try to um, take the ideas about intersection and union of a pair of sets or three sets and think about collections of maybe even infinitely many sets and what happens when you take the intersection of sets when you have lots more sets. So um, that's the idea. And index sets is more or less a way to keep track of all of that. And it's, it's a step into um, some more serious uh, ideas that we will need later on uh, when we get into some actual proofs. So index sets. Let, let me start by uh, reminding you about something that you have probably seen before in calculus and maybe in other places, which is um, summation notation, because I think the model for the index set notation that I'm going to talk about is really summation notation. So um, in summation notation, let's say we want to add up a whole bunch of numbers, a1, a2, a3, and so forth up to an. So we have, we have a collection here of n numbers, where n is some other number, and we want to add them up. So this could be like 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 13 plus 11. And then we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So n would be 5. And the notation for that is to use this big sigma symbol, which means sum, and to give uh, an index variable, which runs, in this case, from 1 to n. That's what this means. i goes from 1 to n. And then this is what it is that you're supposed to add up, and it depends on i. So the way you would convert this back into the sum is you would say, well, I'm going to start with i equals 1, and I'm going to take a1, and then i is going to step from 1 up to n, and it's going to be, I'm going to get a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus dot, 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 up to n. So these things, this is a shorthand notation for, um, for a sum like this. And as you may remember from your uh, infinite series discussion, you can use even infinitely many um, you know, the index set, index counter even run over an infinite set. So in this case, uh, what we mean is that you should let i go one, two, three, uh, and run on indefinitely. So i takes on every natural number value. And we get this infinite series, which we studied in calculus. So the main point I want to make here is that we have a shorthand way of writing a, a sum of a bunch of things without having to constantly write out, let's say, a1 plus a2 plus dot, 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 plus a n, or even a1 plus a2 plus dot, dot, dot. We have a way to avoid the dot, dot, dots. So in the context of sets, um, we have we do it like this. So if suppose we have a bunch of sets, so a big A now, a1 up to a n. These are all sets. And we want to know what is the union of all of them. Well, we could write a1 union a2 union dot 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 union a n. But instead, what we do is we make a big U, a big union sign, and we decorate it the same way we did with the summation notation. And this means take the union of all of the sets a i as i runs over the natural numbers from 1 to n. And similarly, we can do this with intersections. Then we would use intersection symbols, and then this is a big intersection symbol. So here we have a bunch of intersections, and then the big intersection symbol here. Well, that's great, but what does this actually mean? So what happens when you take the union of a bunch of sets? So A1, A2, and so forth up to AM. Well, the union of a bunch of sets means that you want to pick out the elements which belong to at least one of the sets AI. They just have to belong to one. If they belong to one, then they're in the union. So here's an example. Suppose that um, A1 is, is this set here. And A2 is this set, 5, 12, and 15. And A3 is 1, 4, 15, and 35. So what is the union as i goes from 1 to 3 of a i? Well, first of all, the way you read this notation is you read this as a1 union 
A2 union A3. And that means, by this note up here, the set of x so that x is in A1, or x is in A2, or x is in A3. So if we go back to our examples, basically we want to take any element which belongs to any one of these three sets. So we want to keep, so let's give this a name, we'll call this Y. So Y is the set which includes 1, 4, 10, and 12, those are all the elements of A1, and then 5, which is here. We already have 12, but we need 15. We already have 1, we already have 4, we already have 15, but we need 35. So the union, whoops, the union of all of these uh, sets is, the, uh, is this set with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 elements. Anything which occurs in any one of the sets that we started with, we just glom them all together. The intersection of these three sets means we want to only keep the elements that belong to every one of the sets. So union means if you occur in any one of the sets, we keep you. Intersection means you have to be in every single one. So let's take a look here. So for example, one is in A1, but it's not in A2. It is in A3, but to be in the intersection, so let's call it again Y, intersection I equals one, to 3 of AI, which is A1 intersect A2 intersect A3. So we don't include 1 because 1 is not in A2. And we don't include 4 because 4 is not in A2. And we don't include 10 because 10 is not in A2. And we don't include 12 because 12 it's in A1 and A2, but it's not in A3. What about 5? Well, 5 isn't in A1. It's in A2, but it's not in A1. We already dealt with 12. And maybe I'll cross off the ones we've dealt with. We've dealt with 1, 4, 10, 12, 5, 12, 1, 4. OK. So what about 15? Well, 15 isn't in A1, so we don't include it. And 35 is only in A3, so it's not in A2 or A1. So you notice that when we're all done, actually, no element, there's no element in common to these three sets. So actually Y here is the empty set. Because if we were going to make a Venn diagram, uh, just to sort of illustrate that one other way, the intersection of all three sets, which is the, uh, in here, there's no, there's no points, there's nothing here. Now, just like with summation notation, you can also take the union and intersection of infinitely many sets. So here's a way to make infinitely many sets. I'm going to tell you, for, so here's the notation. Maybe I should point that out first of all. Here's the notation. It looks just like summation notation, but now we're using the big U or the big, this is called a cap, cup and cap, a big cap sign here so that, um, and then the indexes run from all the way out to infinity. So here I've made, um, for each natural number i, I've made a set. So a1, for example, is the set minus 1, 0, 1. And a2 is the set minus 2, 0, 2. And a3 is the set minus 3, 0, 3, and so on. So you can think of this in a way as it's almost like a function, which for each i gives you a set. And we could think of these as all sitting inside the integers. Well, so the union, as i goes from 1 to infinity of a i, this is the set of elements so that x belongs to 1 of the a i. Doesn't matter, could belong to more than one, at least one. So what's in there? Well, any integer, take any integer. First of all, 
this is contained in the integers because all of these sets only consist of integers. But any integer belongs to some AI. In fact, let's say, take your integer, whoops, take an integer n, then n belongs to a n, which is the set minus n, zero, n. So every integer belongs to this union. So the integers are actually equal to this union. Because the elements of the, in, certainly every element of this union is an integer, because it's when you combine all these sets, you only ever get integers. You combine all these sets here, you only ever get integers. But you eventually get every integer. I mean, you get, if you want to know when does 3,768 get included, well, A3,768 has 3,768 in it. And to be in this set, you just have to show up eventually in AI. So this union is the set of integers. What about the intersection? Let's make a little space here. The intersection as i goes from 1 to infinity of ai, this is the set of x so that x belongs to every ai. And if you look at this list, the only number which occurs in every AI is zero. Because zero is in AI for every I. So the intersection, as I goes from one to infinity of AI, is just the set with one element, namely zero. 